Welcome to Terra. This video is an overview of how to navigate in the Terra platform. When you come to Terra landing page you'll see quick links to documentation and discussion forums, as well as to docs specific to our co-branded sites. Three cards help with quick navigation. They let you view workspaces you have access to, explore example showcase workspaces, or browse existing data repositories, including both open and controlled access datasets. The main navigation menu is at the top left of any page in Terra. Expanding your Terra ID reveals your profile page, where you'll find personal information like your name, Terra ID, and other details about you and external identities, where you link authorization for controlled access data such as an NIH account to Terra. The Groups section includes all the groups you're part of. It's also where you can create a Terra managed group for sharing resources with team members. Next is the Billing section, where you'll find a list of Terra billing projects you own or that are shared with you. If you have access to a linked Google Cloud billing account, you can create a Terra billing project here. And if you're a billing project owner, you can set up workflow spend reporting. The cloud environment section is for managing all your interactive analysis VMs and persistent disks in one place. You can see Jupyter, Galaxy or RStudio cloud environments that are running or paused. And how much they're costing. You can delete or pause your cloud environments to save money, without having to open a workspace. Clicking the Workspaces card, or selecting, your Workspaces, from the main navigation menu, takes you to your Workspaces page. You'll find a handy list of recently viewed Workspaces at the top of the page. Tabs let you explore all your new and interesting Workspaces, or a curated featured Workspaces for a variety of scientific use cases. If you expand the library section in the main navigation, You'll find repositories for public and open access datasets linked to Terra and featured workspaces. You can filter and search to find one that's interesting to you. The Codes and Workflows library includes GATK best practice workflows that you can add to your workspace and modify for your own needs. There are hundreds of additional workflows in DocStore and the Broad Methods repository. When you find one, you can upload it directly to a workspace from the Codes and Workflows library. You'll do most of your work in Terra, storing data and running analysis tools, in a workspace. Once you have your workspace set up on Terra, clicking the three vertical dots at the top right of any page, lets you share it with colleagues. You control how much to share by setting collaborator roles including owner, writer, and reader, in the share workspace form. You can use the same three dots to clone another copy of the workspace. Choose the new workspace billing project and cloud storage location in the clone workspace pane. Thanks for watching this navigation tour. To learn more, check out our other resources including online courses, videos and tutorials, and documentation at support.terra.bio.